Hi everyone, it's Ramin. I'm back here with another haul for you guys today. First of all, I really do want to apologize for being absent for eight months on this channel. I really, really am sorry. I started college late fall last year and I had no idea. I had no idea what I was in for. I did not know college would be so physically and mentally demanding. Along with that, I was working part-time, so balancing school with work and making YouTube videos, it didn't seem ideal in my opinion. But enough of that, I'm back and I assure you, you can see a more regular schedule on this channel. I have a lot of video ideas that I'm so excited to produce and uh, yeah, so you can look forward to that. But for now, let's start with the haul. This is a collection of the supplies that I've gathered over the past 8 months. It's not a big collection, but I didn't buy much of the stuff that I had to buy over the past eight months was for school. Anyway, so I really wanted to get into block printing. Um, generally, just just generally printmaking because printmaking is a big thing. It's pretty big at my school. Um, a lot of students sell their a lot of students sell prints of their work and little stickers. One of the reasons I wanted to dabble into printmaking was to make cute little stickers to sell. So one of the first things you need, obviously, for printmaking is ink. So I have this water soluble ink. Um, screen printing ink. I don't know what the name of the color is. Oh, oh, just just red. Just just red. Nothing too creative. So that's that. And of course, you need a surface. I'm most familiar with Lionel Pop. Um, it full name's like linoleum or something. I have it, but I just say Lionel Block. Along with that, I also have um. A brayer. The brayer is just like a roller. It's used to apply ink evenly across your surface. So I think it's very important. And then I have a handle for my ink. Okay. I have a handle which is also by Speedball. Oh, the brayer was also by Speedball. As you can obviously tell, Speedball makes a lot of printmaking materials. Um, so I also have this handle which holds different engraving cutters and tools in here. Right there. I already have one, but I decided to buy um, a few individual pieces, which later I realized these may not even be for printmaking, and I think they're for scratch boarding, which, which is fine by me. I have scratch board, so I can use these, I guess, but I may need to buy more cutters for printmaking purposes. Aside from printmaking, I did buy a random tube of oil paint. Well, it's not really random. I wanted to try out this company, Gamblin. It's been raved about all over the internet. This is Cadmium Red Light. Nice basic um, color that every artist needs in their palette. Um, I'm really excited to try this. Another medium that I experimented, started experimenting with is markers. So the three companies that I tried out are Windsor Newton, Tombow, and Faber Castell. The first one that I tried out was Faber Castell, and they have a line called P-I-T-T -T Artist Pen? I don't know. It says it's labeled with a B on the end, like that. So, yep. Yeah. So I bought four of those, not mainly skin tone colors, except for this nice blue over here, because I really like drawing portraits and faces and sketching people. So I thought this would be, I thought those would be a good um, foundation of colors to uh, buy for a beginner like me. So the first color we have here is light indigo. These are a brush tip. Sort of light indigo starting to wear out. <laughs> and then I have light skin. And we also have cinnamon. So I really like to pair light skin and cinnamon together because they work really well for skin tones, for shading. They really complement each other really well. And you can definitely layer these markers. This is raw umber. Okay, that's that. And moving on, we have Winter Newton. I just say Winter Newton instead of Winter Ink. Wow, well, now you wanna come? Now. This is Amber. The brush tip looking like that. And then we have we have China Blue. You can really layer these colors, you just have to wait a bit for them to dry. 
they're really nice for mixing as well. And then I have this is what a pearl marker looks like. So this is really the end that differentiates between the pro and brush markers. Don't know what that was. And then I have this one in cool gray three. There's that. And then the last brand, which really intrigued me because it's the cheapest one out of all the three. So the first one's in the shade 555. And it has a weird side that I can only assume is used for sketching. This one is 856. It's just a red. Compared to Winsor & Newton and Faber-Castell, Tombow doesn't have a lot of color diversity in color. So that could be a downside. I usually like using the Faber-Castell markers with pencil crayons. Um, the brand that I've been really loving this one is another, it's, it's Faber Castell, but it's the Polychromos, which I've been raved about all over the internet. So the colors that I have are Dark Red, Ultramarine, and Van Dyke Brown. Let's see there. Yeah. So I swatched some of the markers and pencil crayons to give you guys a better idea of the colors. And if you're curious to know where I put my markers, pens, and pencils in, it's in this cute pencil roll case. It's almost the size of my face. I bought it from Amazon. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. It's a really cloudy day today, so excuse the lighting. It may be going in and out. But the last thing I bought are a bunch of 8.5 by 11 tone paper. So you guys know me. I love my tone paper. It's great for everything, portraits, animals, whatever. So the first one is felt gray. Again, I'll leave all the names of the colors and the brand down in the description box below. Then we have steel gray. I like to buy a lot of neutrals, but once in a while I do like to experiment with different unique colors. This is moonstone. One of the colors that I picked up that I really want to experiment with is ivy. It's a beautiful olive green color. I feel like this would be great for drawing any botanical illustrations. I don't know why, but I bought two pieces of the Stygian black tone paper. I don't know. What what were you what was the past me thinking? I don't know. So that concludes the haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all your support. Again, I apologize for being absent for eight months. I am going to try to retribute for that. If you want to see more content, head on over to my Instagram account where I post daily photos, or well, at least I try to post daily photos and videos. As well as my Society6 shop, I have prints of drawings and paintings available for purchase and available for commissions. If you want me to draw your mom, dad, aunt, neighbor, neighbor's dog, neighbor's cat, just shoot me an email. My email address is linked in the description box below and we can go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, night, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye!